In this video, I'll show you two ways to run New World on your low-end computer or laptop and how it's the best game in the world. Welcome everybody, my name is Kevin Smack and today we're going to be talking about how you can play New World on your laptop or low-end computer. You might be wondering, what is New World? Well, New World is a brand new MMORPG. It's been out about a month now and it's created by Amazon themselves. This is where everyone gets to play together in a big world and everyone can interact. Kind of think of it like World of Warcraft, just updated. And that poor turkey. Rip. It has all sorts of cool features like voice chat and much more. So stay tuned as we go over the differences that we can change to make sure you can play it on your computer. It's just a a little bit of playing as I'm going <laughs> the best I can. It's kind of hard to concentrate and play at the same time with this game, but we're going to do it. And here we are on a high end computer because I am currently on my recording computer and we all know that is a higher end, but I do have a laptop that I play New World on. You can see I'm only level 16, but I actually got to about level 13 on a different server and then I had login problems. At first, they had a lot of login issues because they just had so many people buy the game last minute. They had over 900,000 concurrent players at one time. So how's the game doing a month later? Well, we're near around 450,000, so it's still going pretty well. You have to expect to lose a good amount of people. If you look at World of Warcraft, you're probably around 400 to 600,000. So the game is doing pretty decent. There's a lot to do, and the cool thing is you don't have to really get pigeonholed in on a class or anything like that. You can go ahead and just level up whichever weapon you want and that's what you get. So right now I have the ice gauntlets and I'm leveling them up. As you can see, I can go into my character and see all my attributes and I can go into weapon masteries and you can see the weapons that I've used. Sword and shield, the rapier, a little bit of hatchet, but mainly the fire staff and the ice gauntlets I liked. And we did mess around with the life staff some, which is healing, just to see if I can heal myself and continue to go. But it didn't really work out so well because I am using mana anyway. So yeah, didn't uh, like that. So now I'm trying this way. I have the ice gauntlets and then I switch over to my sword if I run out of mana. Easy enough. But that's not what you came here for. You came here to find out how to get your computer to run better. And I'm going to go ahead and give you two ways now. This looks like a safe spot. We'll see if that holds true. We'll stay by the torch because maybe the fire will keep the mobs away. What we want to do is go ahead and hit escape. And then we're going to go ahead and choose settings. And next we're going to choose visuals. Visuals are basically how your game runs and what it uses. I would leave it full screen because full screen always is when a game runs best. Basically, the computer is just focusing on this game and nothing else. Here with the video quality, and this is where you're going to change things up. You're going to want to go ahead and click here and change this to low. Now, we're going to go over another way after this, so this isn't the only way, but changing it to low will go ahead and help. When you change it to low, it's going to go ahead and kind of take a moment, and it may need to restart sometimes, but depends on your computer. So once you change the first one to low, everything else is gonna be on low. Then we can also go to max FPS, and I would switch this and cap it. I would try 60 FPS first, and if it's still not running very good, change it to 30 FPS. But 60 is where I would start with. When the game was coming out, they did go ahead and lower their minimum requirements for their systems, so a lot more people are able to run it. So this will help. Of course, it will take away from your visuals and it won't be as good, but you may not even notice that big of a difference depending on how it was running before. That's one way to get it taken care of. Another way is through a third party application and that is no ping. No ping is amazing because it boosts FPS for you and you can also go ahead and fix your ping if that is an issue. It's built in two ways. But the coolest thing is you just install the program and run it 
and it instantly goes through and reconfigures your system to run as best as it can. Boom. <laughs> Once you go ahead and get it running, you will notice a nice boost in your graphics and you will be able to play the game on lower end computers and laptops that you weren't able to before. This works in lots of games, not just New World. It's just New World might be one that I would really check out if you haven't played. If you're playing another game and you're having some problems and you can't get it to load, give it a try. I've had lots of people successfully run Fortnite with no ping when they couldn't even run it or open it on the laptop before that. No ping is a paid service. However, there is a free seven day trial. That way you can try it and see if it works. And if it works, then you can decide where you want to go from there. I really do recommend it. If you want to use my link below and use code Kevin Smack, you get 20% off the price, which is amazing. Give it a shot and let me know how it works for you. Let me show you a quick video from No Ping just to give you a little more information of everything it can do for you. And there you have it. No ping is amazing and it's gonna definitely help you out. I have been using no ping and working with no ping for years. They have done so well and fixed so many issues that people have. Now also, like I said, if you're having server issues, no ping is set up in the no ping client and it's been for a while, so you are all good. You just go ahead and open it and select the game new world and hit configure. Choose a server near you and you are all set. If I get any free keys, I will also put them down below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Poor turkeys. Come here, gobble gobble. He never had a chance.